Coromon, Digivolve to Agamon. Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, I'm a puppet maker, and in this video I'll be showing you how to build Agumon. This guy's stronger form, this is Coromon, his in training form, and when Coromon evolves, or digivolves in that case, this is who he becomes. Isn't he cute? I love this Digimon so much. So. Enjoy the video and be sure to check out the link in the description below if you want to learn how to make Coralmon. Alright, enjoy the tutorial, work safe, have fun. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Alright everybody, so we will be making Agumon, the most famous, iconic, and the mascot of Digimon. So we gotta have him in my collection. I gotta have him in my collection. So we're gonna start off with the head. So we're gonna crumble the head into the shape of an egg. This is what you should have, the top of the head. Now, we need to crumble some, a little newspaper on top of here for the eyes. Now we need to crumble some material on top on each side. This is where the eyes will go, where the eyes will go. Like that, on both sides. Make sure the back is nice and round too. So this is the head so far. Actually, I think I have this too far. So here's the head, it's at the bottom. You need to crumble some newspaper at the back here. Just at the back. We'll make the bottom jaw. We'll make the bottom jaw after. Here's the head. Let's make the bottom jaw. So we're gonna crumble newspaper to take the shape of the front of the bottom of the muzzle here. Here's the, the muzzle. There's the bottom, and that's the neck. So this is what the bottom jaw should look like. All right, now we need to make the body. The body needs to be crumbled into the shape of a large egg. Okay, so there's Agumon. So it should look like an egg. So now we actually need to add two flat and we need to add a newspaper ball on the top here and, and on the, on both sides. A flat newspaper ball. Like that. Now Agumon's got a bit of a belly, he kind of does already actually, it's pretty good. Just make sure he has a bit of a belly. Okay, so this is what you should have. A bit of a belly, you should have a chest. Now we need to add the tail. 
And the tail should look like a cone. Very small, short tail. So the tail should look like this. I should even look a little shorter. So we're gonna glue that to the back of the body. I'm gonna tape it on, not glue. Looks pretty good. Yeah, there's the Digimon. So what we need next are the arms. We're gonna crumble newspaper into, we're gonna make two newspaper carrots. Okay, now we need to make the bottom part of the arms. This is where the claws are gonna be attached. Crumble newspaper into two long, flat triangles. They should look like really, they should look like large shark teeth. Now we need to make the claws. So we're gonna crumble newspaper into six newspaper carrots, but they should be pointy, like claws. There's one claw. Now we just need to make the feet. So we're gonna crumble newspaper into two flat uh, squares, two flat squares. Actually, two flat triangles. Crumble newspaper into two flat triangles. So not quite like a triangle, but like this. Okay, two feet. Now we need the claws. So we're gonna crumble six shark teeth for the claws. And they gotta be rounded. There, like that. You need six of these, so I'm gonna make five more. Okay, so now it's time for paper mache. So I need to mix one part white glue and one part water. I'm gonna spread it on the surface area with a paintbrush. I'm using toilet paper. If you don't have toilet paper, Use newspaper strips. So cover up both sides, make sure it's completely wet. And put it on. So I'm using one part glue, white glue, and one part water. And just cover that completely. That will work good too. I'm using toilet paper because I don't want the newspaper to show up when I paint it. You're gonna want at least four or five layers. So let's get Agamon covered up.
Okay, so now I've taken the tail off because I will actually want to hollow the body. So we're gonna do that. All right, so now Agumon's body's nice and light. And still nice and hard. So I'm just gonna reattach this tail. Not hard to do. So just glue that on. Then he will have a tail again. All right, so let's make the legs, which I'm gonna be using paper towel spools. Obviously won't be standing this tall, but we need to cut this in half. I'm just gonna guess. Just careful when you're using knives. They're very sharp. Oh, well, that's a pretty good cut. I think this is a pretty good height. So actually we are going to cut this again in half. So we're going to cut these in quarters. And we're going to glue them like this. Cause that's the kind of stance he has. There, like that. I'll grab the glue gun and we're gonna get that on. Wear gloves, cause I don't don't want you burning yourself. That's why I have gloves on. All right, now we're going to attach them to the bottom. Like that, so that's going to be one leg here. Both sides may need to cut a hole in the draw. I'm going to cut. Cut away from yourself, please. So this will be the framework for the feet. Right now, this looks like some kind of bug or alien. <laughs> it does look like some kind of alien or some kind of bug. Creepy. Okay. Now we're going to glue that into place. Alright, so now we are going to attach the toes to the feet. Or the claws, I mean. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to make the bottoms for the feet. I just kind of shaped it back a little bit. So I'm going to take some cardboard we're going to trace around the feet, including the claws. Hard to tell, but now I'm going to cut that out. It'll be a little easier to work with. And we're going to trace. I'm going to copy, make a copy. So just remember, careful when you're cutting.
All right, so we're gonna make ourselves another one. I cut that out. Candy. Yeah. So let's glue the feet on. That light on there. Okay, so we have the the bottoms on. Now I want to add a bit of a heel just to give additional support. So we're just going to take a strip of cardboard and we're just going to trace around the back of it. Just the very back. It should look like a half moon. We're gonna cut that. I need two of them. All right, so now what we need to do, is we need to make the ears. We're also going to hollow out the head. And we need to add, we need to, we need to empty this out. We're going to cut, cut it right along here. We're going to keep this part because we need to trace around it. We're just going to cut this out. Keep this. Okay, let's remove the newspaper. We need the head to be nice and hollow. Now, we need to close this off. Before we do, I want to make the ears. So to make the ears, you'll be crumpling newspaper into the shape of two tiny triangles. All right, so now we are going to attach the ears. Just on the side, right where we're going to cut out the eye holes. I'm going to do the same for both sides. Alright, so now we're going to trace out the insert. We're going to use a cardboard insert for this. Put that on the inside. I am going to make it just a little bit bigger though. Now we're going to put that on the inside of this, the head. Oh, yeah, we need to glue that into place. All right, now we want to close off this side. And we're going to cut around here. 
Same deal at the bottom of the muzzle. This is gonna be the low, lower jaw here. Alright, we make the do the same thing, we're gonna make an insert so it's nice and flat. Like that. Alright, so now we're gonna cut out where we want the eyes. All right, so now let's get these assembled. This is way too long. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to trim this. And then we're gonna glue this on an angle here. And obviously we're gonna have to close this off. But yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so now we want to attach the claws. Gotta raise the, the one in the middle just a little bit. Be careful when you're doing this part. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other claw, the other uh, hand. So right now we're just gonna wrap some newspaper around the framework to make the legs. Mr. Paper Mache Crafter. What's that? Mr. Paper Mache. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go out and get my horse. Okay, yeah, you want me to still make that video? You can do whatever you like. For the eye, I'm going to cut a large styrofoam ball in half. This is tricky. Might need to get someone to help you with this. Like that. Now we're going to cut an opening for the ears. Like that. Now we need to cut out eight teeth. We're gonna use cardboard triangles.
While I'm letting that glue gun warm up, we need to detail the eyes a little bit. Digimon have this. Now let's get the teeth on. We need two teeth here, two teeth here, and two on each side. More paper mache, everybody. Okay, let's make the tongue. Crumple news, very flat newspaper to take the shape of the bottom jaw. Perfect! Now paper mache. Now we're going to use toilet paper just at the end, just where the claws start to come out. These will be the cuticles. These will make them look more reptile-like. Now, so, we're, so the puppet gets better support, we're going to add some heels to the back of the feet. Cut these out. Alright, put the cuticles on here as well. And I cut off the nostrils right where I colored it in with the marker. Now we need to add some detail above the nostrils with toilet paper, with tissue paper. So you dampen your toilet paper with glue. You roll it and then you put it above the hole you cut. Okay, now we need to make the neck. Take a strip of cardboard and we're going to roll it. We need to make the spindle. Again, by rolling cardboard. I'm going to cut that out. Perfect. I'm going to trace around here. I'm going to make it rounder by using masking tape as a
So I trace it around and cut it out. I'm gonna glue it on top. And I'll move the masking tape. Oh, no, I'm gonna keep it just until it is dry. Now we're going to cut out this part. Now we're gonna cut this out. Just remember to cut away from yourself. Now just so that we can get the glue on here, perfectly center. Gonna slide the spindle through this hole. Put some glue around the ring of the neck at the bottom. Now it's covered in paper mache. We need to attach the legs. So we'll need another toilet paper spool. We're gonna cut out the middle. So how the how the toilet paper spool is leaning forward? I'm gonna glue them on. So you're gonna take the openings here, slide them in. Okay, let's start painting this Digimon. I'll be attaching the arms with chain. We just cut lengths of four or three and I drill the holes for them right now. Safety first. Okay, so I'm gonna use links of five. Make a hole here. Glue.
So I'll be using the paint mixing stick for the lever. We're just going to go here and we're going to draw a line right where I'm going to cut the opening. And we are going to cut this out. Just remember, be careful with the knives, they're very sharp. Cut away from yourself. Looks like I'm cutting towards myself, but I'm standing like I'm sitting over here. I'm cutting right towards the camera. Well, technically I'm cutting towards you. Ha 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 ha. But you have this big safety glass right in front of you called the screen. So you're safe. Now we're going to cut an opening at the back. Take the bottom jaw, we're going to cut an opening right at the middle. Just be careful when you're doing this. I'm going to glue that in. And here he is, everybody. This is Agumon. Oh my goodness, what nostalgia. Yeah, so Agumon has been around for a very long time. First generation. So yeah, he's got a moving jaw. He can also close his mouth too. Then of course, if you want him to talk, you can. And then he's got moving arms. Look at these nice Look at these nice claws here. Oh my goodness. And of course, if you want to make his head move, you can. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I sure hope you have enjoyed that. Have fun, work safe, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the link in the description below to join my Puppet Lab Club if you want to get email from me. And also, a link on how to build Coromon, Agumon's uh, in training form. Alright, so this is a rookie Digimon. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you all next time. Oh no, a rat! See you next time. Yeah.